Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to CSS Maverick. I am Sajid Ali and I am thrilled to have you here. We will cover a wide range of topics from the fascinating world of physics and chemistry to logical reasoning and problem solving techniques. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you never miss the exciting updates of our new videos. The part 1 of general science and ability is everyday science and its first topic is physical sciences. The outline of our presentation is Universe, Edge of the Universe, Galaxy, Types of Galaxies, the Milky Way Galaxy, and Stars. Universe is the space and everything in it including stars, planets, and galaxies, etc. It even includes time itself and of course it includes you, me, Earth, Moon, uh, and everything. It is vast and the size of the universe is not known. Some scientists believe it to be infinite while others believe it is 10 billion light years in diameter. The Big Bang was the moment 13.8 billion years ago when the universe began as a tiny dense fireball that exploded. And ever since the universe is expanding in its diameter. Cause of this explosion is still a mystery. Nobody knows how this actually happened. And the Big Bang Theory was presented by Edwin Hubble in 1920. Now, after knowing what actually the universe is, let us now talk about age of the universe. How its age is being calculated. Astronomers estimate the age of the universe in different ways. Uh, the first method involves observing the oldest stars of the universe and calculating the age of the universe by measuring different parameters of these stars. Uh, the second method is actually based on the expansion of the universe and the use of Hubble's law. Uh, it extrapolates uh, to the Big Bang. Uh, just as crime detectives can trace the origin of a bullet from the holes in a wall, Hubble noted that light from faraway galaxies appear to be stretched to longer wavelengths or reddened, a phenomenon called redshift. You all might be aware of that. By precisely determining the expansion rate called the Hubble constant, the cosmic clock can be rewound and the age of the universe calculated. The third way of determining the age of universe is through cosmic microwave background radiation or CMB which was discovered by the astronomers back in 1964. Now let us talk about the cosmic background radiation or CMB. Measurement of the cosmic background radiation give the cooling time of the universe since the Big Bang and measurements of the expansion rate of the universe can be used to calculate its approximate age by extrapolating backwards in time. So it is one of the most widely accepted methods and it is actually a faint law of light that fills the universe and it is almost but not quite the same temperature in all directions of course. Now, this radiation was emitted when the universe was still very young and hot and it has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB scientists can infer the age of the universe to be around 13.8 billion years. Uh, also, uh, a method which we have earlier discussed in which scientists use the oldest stars for determining the age of the universe. Through that method, they have come to know that the age of the universe is uh, around 13.2 billion years old. So, in both cases, the age is uh, relatively same. Both methods uh, are in general agreement and indicate that the universe is around 13.8 billion years old. Now, we all know that our universe is made up of galaxies. Some of which are Milky Way Galaxy, Andromeda Galaxy, Messier 87, pin Pinwheel Galaxy, Oggs Object, Whirlpool Galaxy, Sombrero Galaxy, Centaurus A, but what these galaxies actually are. So a galaxy is a huge collection of gas, dust and billions and billions of stars in their solar systems all held together by gravity. Earth that we live on is a part of the Milky Way galaxy which is a vast collection of gas, dust, stars and their solar systems held together by gravity. 
Uh, on the clear night, uh, we can see other stars in the Milky Way uh, and even the dusty band stretching across the sky. Given if we are in some remote areas, uh, far away from the pollution, where the environmental pollution or the air pollution is as minimum as possible. There are many galaxies uh, beside ours, uh, though there are so many we can't even count them all yet. The Hubble Space Telescope looked at a small patch of space for 12 days and found 10,000 galaxies of all sizes, shapes and colors. So from these figures, from these figures, you can imagine how many galaxies there could be. Some scientists think there could be as many as 100 billion galaxies in the universe, which is a lot, lot, lot. Uh, this is a picture taken by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It shows thousands of galaxies. Uh, it, it only covers a patch of sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. So, from here, which you can imagine how bigger actually the universe is. Given that we now have the understanding of galaxies, let us talk about the types of galaxies. Astronomers classify galaxies into three major categories. Spiral, oval or sometimes called elliptical and irregular. These galaxies span a wide range of sizes from dwarf galaxies containing as few as 100 million stars to giant galaxies with more than a trillion stars. Uh, stars inside these galaxies produce the light we see. Even though galaxies can collide, the planets and solar systems often don't get close enough to be affected. There is a sort of rearrangement where uh, over Earth, uh, let's suppose when the Milky Way collide with the Andromeda uh, after 5 million years, uh, the Earth might find some new neighbors surrounding it, but there are least or no chances uh, of it being physically impacted. So we won't notice even if it happens tomorrow. First of all, let us talk about the spiral galaxy. Most spiral galaxies contain a central bulge surrounded by a flat rotating disk of stars. The bulge in the center is made up of older dimmer stars and is thought to contain a supermassive black hole. Approximately two-thirds of spiral galaxies also contain a bar structure through their center as does uh, the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy uh, which Earth is a part of. Uh, second in the sequence comes elliptical galaxies. Uh, elliptical galaxies uh, is a type of galaxy with an approximately ellipsoidal shape and a smooth nearly featureless image. They are uh, one of the main classes of galaxy described by Edwin Hubble in his Hubble sequence and 1936 work The Realm of the Nebula along with spiral and irregular galaxies. Irregular galaxy. Uh, irregular galaxy it, does not have a distinct regular shape unlike a spiral or an elliptical galaxy. Uh, these galaxies do not fall into any of the regular classes of the Hubble sequence and they are often chaotic in appearance with neither a nuclear bulge and nor any trace of spiral arm structure. So far we have discussed about the universe and the types of galaxies that are present in the universe. Now it's time for us to discuss about our home galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, uh, sometimes called the galaxy. Milky Way galaxy is a huge collection of stars, dust and gas. It is called a spiral galaxy because if uh, you would view it from the top or bottom, it would look like a spinning pinwheel. Uh, the sun is star of the Milky Way galaxy present in our solar system. It is about 25,000 light years away from the center of the galaxy. Spiral galaxies believe to be around 13.6 million years old with large pivoting arms stretching out across the cosmos or universe. 
it has uneven distribution of stars thus unmethodical brightness throughout the patterns of stars that we see at the clear night in the sky are called constellations the constellations uh, you can see at night depend on your location on earth and the time of the year these were named after objects animals and people long ago but astronomers today still use constellations to name stars in meteor showers some quick facts about the milky way galaxy as it is bared in spiral 13.6 billion years old and still counting uh, its size is about 0.1 million light years across it has more than or about 200 billion of stars and a single rotation uh, takes about 250 million years stars what are stars stars are massive self-luminous celestial bodies of gas that shines by radiations derived from the uh, internal energy sources uh, it is a non-permanent heavenly body with its light coming from fusion reactions of hydrogen stars are typically classified by their spectrum in what is known as the morgan keenan or mk system here you can see in the diagram as well it is from O B A F G K M from violet to the right. A star developed from a giant slowly rotating cloud that is made up entirely of almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. Some uh, traces of other elements might also be present. Uh, due to its own gravitational pull, the cloud begins to collapse inward, and uh, since it collapses, uh, its size shrinks and it spins more and more quickly. Uh, this causes the outer parts to become a disk while the innermost parts become a roughly spherical clump. This is all for today's lecture. Thank you so much for staying with us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us grow. And also get notified of our upcoming videos. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.